How is my no buy going? Well, you tell me. If you want to see what's going on, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. I am talking no buy today, and I am talking about what I have purchased all in one go. Uh, and before anybody rushes to make a comment, I have not updated on purchases or anything since uh, April 28th. And we are almost at the end of September. So that is May, June, July, August, and September. Five months. What I am going to show you is five months of activity, including my birthday goodies. So before you tear me up in the comments, which you, you are very free to do, just consider that it's been a long time and there's a, there was a big day in there. So yeah, with that context, let's take a look at what is in all of these boxes. All right, it is a hodgepodge of things. I have stuff from Tarte, I have stuff from Pat McGrath, I, or Pat McGraw, depending on how you would say it. Um, I have some birthday goodies that I received from Steph. We'll have a link to uh, that video if you are curious. I'll put it right there right away. And um, I think my reaction is speaks for itself. And then a tidbit of all sorts of things. I will also put a video that I just put up recently about Shoppers Drug Mart goodies and just a, a just a reiteration that if there are specific beauty stores that you go to to really take advantage of the the goodies the special events that they put on because i ended up getting a full size a great product um, as part of the 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 goodies that were offered no matter what and i am um, i have also entered a draw a draw which i have won uh, in previous years, there were a number of baskets, and if you want to see what was in that basket, at least for Shoppers Drug Mart, I'll put that video right there as well. Okay, so let me get into all of the goodies. The first one that I want to get out of the way is that I did receive the Nikki Tutorials palette from Steph. If you want to see what is inside, just go to that uh, card from this video to be able to see. Same thing with the Carnival palette. She also got me that one. Both of them I was coveting. Both of them I was interested in. And so Steph hit the nail on the head. They are absolutely wonderful. And then she handed me a hand-me-down that I had been ogling on her channel for quite a while. And it's right behind me. And it's the Becca Ocean Jewels highlighting palette that I use as an eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. She had depotted one of them, but I was lucky enough to get the other four. And I definitely use this palette as an eyeshadow palette. It rivals the Cleona Cosmetics uh, highlighting quads, which I also tend to use on the eyes. So those three are things that I received for my birthday and that I'm including in this haul because without Steph sending them to me, I would never have it in my collection. So to me, they are net new. They've come into my collection and I'm making sure that I identify them as much or as such and uh, and count them in. Okay, those two palettes are tucked away nicely. And let's go in with this very large box. And I have a bunch of things in here. Most of them were extremely uh, aggressively priced, meaning a really great deal. And that's why I picked them up. Um, and it's, it's a hod hodgepodge of things. One of them that I have already asked in another video, and feel free to tell me in this video as well whether you're interested or not, um, I do think I'm going to do it, is this Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal. 
Um, I asked if there was interest in me using it for the first time on camera and uh, I've had so far I think two people tell me let me know if there's more interest still uh, and it says airy formula don't know what that means they are saying that it's mega volume it just seems gimmicky to me but anyway I did pick it up because I got it for two dollars and fifty cents <laughs> so I figured I could give it a try a couple of other items that I got on super deal this one was a um, a lip product from Sephora and it seems to be a clicking type of product and then this other one is a uh, called purple sunset it is a rouge velouté uh, or what is it in English purple sunset no it says oh sorry uh, cream lip stain and I haven't really had one of these from Sephora in a long time and this other one is a melting lip click and that's why I wanted to get it the lip clicks have really good reviews on Sephora so I wanted to try those two you can watch out for videos on all these new products that I've never used if that's the case some other products that I have not really used I, I am trying to do different things with my hair uh, these days and these are two products that I'm hoping to use and that I'm hoping are going to do a good job for me for volume. There's this Rebel hair product. Just open up the box. And it's a it's supposed to be a, a finishing paste. Supercharged Naturals. I'm just going to open it up. And it is sealed. So let's open that up because... No time like the present. I'm just going to scrape off what came up off on the uh, as I hopefully don't make a mess. This is expensive. I want to get every last bit. It was on for 50% off, but it's still in my books for hair products. It's still a pretty expensive product. There we go. I think I saved most of it. So that's what it looks like. And it's supposed to be a paste to uh, help with volume. On hair so I have this one and I also bought a, a competing product that I am hoping to be able to compare between this one and this other one which is the Amica Got Grit it is a dry texture paste and let me open this one and my hairdresser Janelle has been putting me on to Amica and I was I didn't like the products that I, I got initially and now I am enjoying some other Amica products so I thought I would try this paste. So let's see what it looks like. There's a cap on this one too. So again, similar texture as the, the Rebel one. I didn't smell the Rebel one. This, this Amica barely has any sort of scent to it, which is I'm fine with. I have no problem with that. And let me just smell this... Uh, Rebel. No, they they smell a little bit different, but both of them have what I would say virtually no smell. So I will be trying those two over uh, the next while. And I did also pick up this Amica um, No Salt Wave Spray. It says no salt, but it feels like there's salt in it. Uh, anyway, I have picked up this one and I did end up picking up two more. You heard me two more because it was on for 33 um, regular price and I got it for 20 tried it it did such a good job at giving me some volume that I usually don't have my hair is, is quite is thinning and I feel like I have the same hair as I had as a teenager now with this with the help of this product and so when I realized how nice it was I ended up picking up another bottle and then thought, you know, $20 instead of $33, let me pick up another one. And so I have a total of three of these. And I'm very, very happy that I was able to pick them up for that price. So hopefully Amica products continue to be at uh, Sephora, which is where I picked it up. Uh, because I'm, I'm really enjoying this product quite a bit. I also picked up some regular goodies. I picked up the Retinol Oil from Neutrogena. It is a very decent priced product for a retinol product and I do like given that I'm in my 40s I do like the oil based retinol 
So this was a no-brainer and there was a great shopping um, Shoppers Drug Mart points offer so I did pick that up and I'm about to start using it. And then this other one which is a uh, Neutrogena Night and it is the Triple Age Repair Moisturizer and it was also on for a really great price so I thought I would give it a shot. Uh, and again, uh, improves look of wrinkles, uneven tone, which I also use dark spot um, remover type products, and uh, firmness. So all three are things that I'm interested in and thought I would give it a shot. If it can do all three things without me having to use three products, I would, I would really enjoy that. So we'll see what it does. And another huge bargain that I got was this uh, L'Oréal Paris uh, Age Perfect Cell Renewal. It is a night cream moisturizer. Now, this product is usually 45 Canadian per container. Let me show you the container. It is excessive packaging for what it is. Here is the container. I do, like I said, have um, three of them. One of them is at... Uh, my uh, boyfriend's place so it's not here for me to show you but I do indeed have three of them and it is a um, just a, a regular kind of container with the protective inner lid and it is a very thick cream so I have used it um, elsewhere as I said at uh, another home um, but it's it's just I like for a night cream for it to be very, very thick. And so this is the kind of cream that I would be looking for, where I know that it is going to last the night, that it, it not that I put it on thick, I just want it to be the type of consistency that is not just gonna wipe off, that is going to stay on my face all night. And it does, based on having used it a couple of times, another container, not this one that's brand new. Um, having used it a couple of times, I know that it has that kind of night, comfortable, staying power kind of a, of a night cream. Um, so I was very happy to see that they had them for a third of the regular price. <laughs> and so I picked up what they had left, which was three containers. So I'm going to be very, very set for night cream for about a year. And I'm so jazzed about that, especially at such a reasonable price. Now I did get a lot from Sephora, so I did end up getting quite a few deluxe samples. So I want to show you what those are. Now some are deluxe samples and others are point perks that I use. So uh, if you have over 100 points, you can uh, exchange 100 points at Sephora for a goodie. And some of these I wait. I save up my points and wait until they come available um, so that I can use my points for something that I really want as opposed to something I'm just trying out. So a tried and true toner that I really like is the Ren Ready Set Glow AHA Tonic Solution. If my camera will focus. So every time I have an opportunity to get one of these from Sephora, I do. I really, really like that toner and uh, do also like the container for travel to just put toner in, even if it's not this particular uh, brand. The next one here is Biosense um, Squalane and Marine Algae Eye Cream. And it is a very nice product. And eye cream tends to last a long time, which is why I don't mind uh, paying to get paying using points to get a sample and it is quite a significant amount if you know how little eye cream we need on a day-to-day -day basis I think that this sample size is fantastic and next up I have this Juliet has a gun not a perfume super dose and every single Juliet has a gun perfume that I have tried I have enjoyed so I have no doubt that I will enjoy this one as well and it is a, a spray bottle so that's kind of nice of course perfumes it doesn't take very much to be able to use this usually uh, lasts a week for me when I have a sample so I'm looking forward to that I have to stop saying I'm looking forward to things because obviously I got them therefore I want them I did pick up a second Ren glow tonic so you know that I like these that's 
confirmation right there. And then two more items here. One of them is this Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. So I have another eye cream. And Belief is uh, one that tends to be pretty expensive, so I am looking forward to trying it. And I think I have the Belief Face Cream as well, so if I do, I, I will pair them up. And I also have this other uh, perfume called uh, by Rosie Jane, apparently. Uh, Leila Lu. Leila Lu is the perfume. I have no idea what it's like, but I'm looking forward to trying it. And speaking of perfume, let's go through all of them. So I also have this Nest Seville Orange or Seville Orange that I will try out. Oh, I took it out, but this is what it looks like. I do have it. I just don't have it in the package. Um, I also have this um, Valentino that I will try. I also took that out of the package. And another one I took out of the package is this Perfect, it's called Perfect by Marc Jacobs. So I will try that one. And one that I still have in the package that I was really curious about is this Sol de Janeiro um, Eau de Parfum. And I think it's that just um, that uh, signature fragrance that is in the Boom Boom Cream. I think that that's what this is. And if so, I, I may very well end up purchasing the fragrance because, oh my goodness, do I ever love the scent. I have the Boom Boom Cream and I save it for special occasions because it's so awesome. It's so awesome. I'll just quickly go over the samples and then I have a few more deluxe items to tell you about. Um, Alginist Cream, Pharmacy Daily Green Moisturizer, the uh, Christophe Robin or Christophe Robin, um, it's called Masque Fondant Hydratant, Hydrating Melting Mask with Aloe Vera. Definitely want to try that. Obviously, since I decided to get the sample. Uh, Kerastas uh, Blonde, this is the Ultraviolet Mask. I did not ask for this, but I will see if I have someone who has more blonde hair than I do who wants to give it a try. So I will see what that, uh, where that ends up. And then the Dr. Jart Ceramidin um, Liquid Moisturizing Toner and Cream Moisture Retention Shield. No idea what that is all about, but I thought I would try it because I don't mind Dr. Jart products. They've worked for me so far. And I do have a couple of things from Briogeo. I have the Aloe and Oat Milk Ultra Soothing Shampoo and Conditioner as a pack. Love to keep these for travel and try them out as I travel. And then this uh, Don't Despair Repair, which was I think a 100 point perk, uh, a deep conditioning mask, which I do appreciate using once in a while when my hair is feeling a little rough around the edges. So I will use that. Briogeo, I tend to pick up whenever I have an opportunity. Actually, no, it wasn't a 100 point perk. This was a, um, gift with purchase at 25 or $35 spend, I was able to get this. And just two more items. Another one that was free was this Pharmacy Whipped Green Foaming Cleanser. So I did pick up that item because I do want to try more from Pharmacy. I've tried three products so far from them and I'm enjoying the experience. So I thought I'd try more. And this one I'm very excited about. I thought I had one more. Oh yeah, two more products. Um, Fenty. I have not tried the Gloss Balm Cream at all yet, and it's been on my list of things to try. And in this case, I get a deluxe sample of um, Fenty Glow O2, and it looks like the cream, typical cream Gloss Balm. And I can't wait to try it. So I know it's a very, very tiny amount but shoot, I have had this on my wish list as a product forever, and I will get to try it. So this is super, super exciting. And then Bite has a new mascara, and so I decided to spend points on this. <laughs> what a fat little tube. 
So let's see what the wand looks like. Oh yeah, I think that's the one that I will enjoy. Cool, that's awesome. So given its bite, uh, Canadian company, I really wanted to uh, get a chance to try something that wasn't lip product related. And it says it's the Upswing Mascara, full volume mascara, will, mascara with berry wax. And it, it, this is a half a mascara. It's 5.5 mil. A, a full size mascara is usually between a 10 and, and 15 mil. This is, this is a half size mascara. That's fantastic. And, it, and the color is solid black, if you're curious. So that is that for all of these products from uh, mostly Sephora and Shoppers Drug Mart. And now I'm going to go into some individual purchases that I received from Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath and Tarte. And I think just a couple of palettes that were actually from Sephora, but that are from uh, indie brands as well. So let's get into all of those goodies. Okay, so let's get into this box. This is the Tarte box. And it does look quite sizable, but there's not that much in it. And I have actually have a couple of things from um, Sephora still in here, I forgot. I tried to put all of my birthday stuff together. Uh, and so I have a couple more uh, things. So a, a few things that I picked up from Sephora. One of them is my birthday gift. So let me just open this up. And it is a Beauty Insider gift, and it is the, um, I think, the Laguna bronzer and a lip product from NARS. It's the only thing out of the birthday perks they had that was interesting to me this year. So I'm opening it up. It's well wrapped in the... Um, the uh, paper, the tissue paper. And so here is the lip product. I can, oh, it's, it just opens up, okay. I don't expect there's a whole lot in it. Oh, you know what? That's not a bad amount. So let's just do a little swatch of it, see what it looks like. Well, it's very, very light as a color. So it looks like a like a lip gloss or lip tint. It's uh, it's quite shiny, quite pretty. I think it's going to be like um, my lips, but better. And it is definitely a good companion uh, with the Laguna bronzer. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Laguna bronzer is what it is. So let's open it up, and that is what it looks like. And I didn't expect it to be very big, given it's just the uh, the birthday perk from this year and how much, how many grams in here? 2.5 grams. So it actually will last quite a bit. And as a travel size, I do think I can get a brush in there, not too badly. And it does go well with, hang on. Ah, I was going to show you the um, orgasm blush in the same kind of size, but I did put it in my travel pouch, which is not uh, at home right now. So I can't show you the trio, but I did intend to use these two products and the NARS Orgasm Blush together as a trio for a look. So I'll keep that for a future video. I know that's been done a whole lot, but I haven't done it. So I would like to use all of those products together with one of the NARS palettes that I have and maybe do a full NARS look, which I have never been able to do before. So really looking forward to using these little guys. And another little Sephora perk that I picked up, and this was a definitely on impulse for a birthday treat um, as I was picking up the, or asking for the birthday gift. And it is the uh, Pride product from Marc Jacobs for 2021. And it is called uh, Electric Lights. Uh, 372 electric lights and it actually kind of makes me think of the Laguna uh, type of a lip product from NARS so let's just do a swatch next to each other 
Maybe I had a one-track mind when I was picking that. Oh yeah, that's very similar, although it has pink, uh, hot pink peach reflex in it. So it's a little bit more blingy than the, uh, the NARS version. But they are quite nice and complimentary. They, they look very similar. So if I want more bling, I would go Marc Jacobs. If I want something more muted, I would go with the NARS option. Very nice. And this is a lot of product. Uh, what does it say? Yeah, five mil. So it's, it's, it's a fair amount of product in this gloss. And I think I got it for eight or nine Canadian. It was ridiculously cheap. So I thought, why not a full-size Marc Jacobs uh, lip gloss? Yes, thank you. Is that what they call it? Uh, dazzling lip gloss. Or no, sorry. Daz dazzling gloss lip lacquer. That's a mouthful. But I, I like the, uh, the pride packaging as well. So anyway, th that was kind of along with the uh, NARS birthday pack in, uh, in a, a single order. And one last product, and this one is from Marc Jacobs, and it is a set of three different nail polishes. This particular one that I'm starting off with is called uh, 214 Jealous Glaze, and it's an enamored um, lip, um, lip nail polish, and it's 12 mil, so it's, it's quite a bit of product, and I managed to get these three for $12 each. So I think it's actually a pretty decent price for a Marc Jacobs product. Uh, this one I did do a, um, did take a picture of me wearing it. Now I could have used a third coat, I think. It's, it's a glaze, so it's kind of see-through. And I don't, I didn't like exactly how it turned out, uh, but it was the first one of these that I had tried and I, I just didn't put it, um, thick enough. So so I think three coats would have been required. And it's it's a nice deep, deep green. And then these two I have not tried yet. Uh, this one is called, just open it up here. Okay, I had to fight with it. I really don't like this kind of packaging. Why do plastic packaging? It's so ridiculous in this day and age. Um, but anyway, so here's this second one, which is a deep, uh, rich, kind of a rich, almost between a brick red and a burgundy red. What's it called? Uh, 218 My Glaze Enamored. Yes, enamored, but the name of it is, this is Jealous uh, Glaze, as I mentioned, and oh, okay, uh, 218 My Glaze. Okay, so this is the, this is the name of it, My Glaze. And it has some hint of burgundy, some hint kind of a, almost like a, a flash of hot pink in it. It's a very interesting looking color and I don't know that it comes through the same way on camera. Anyway, that's the second one I got. And there's a third one is a purple color. What a pain to open it. I finally got it open. And it is a purple, deep purple color. I don't know if you can even see it on camera. It's a really, really deep purple. Maybe if I open it up a little bit. All right, I have to pull the cap off. I keep forgetting I can't twist this. To me, that's a design flaw. It should just twist automatically. Um, with the inside in it, and it, it just doesn't. And this is the color. I think you can see better in the neck of the nail polish bottle. Now, if you can see, I don't know if you can see the brush. See how sad it is? So I have only one complaint so far, having used one of these, and it is that the brush, for the amount you pay, these are regular, I think, 24? For the price you pay, 22 or 24, you need a decent brush. This sucks. The Ciate Minis that are only a couple bucks each have a beautiful brush. You go and you pay for a, a luxe nail polish and the brush 
frays and flares out the moment you start using it. So so that is that is my complaint here. They they went uh, cheap on the brush and there's absolutely no excuse. And another company that does this that drives me crazy is Deborah Lipman. If you're going to charge $24 for a nail polish that's Canadian, please have a decent brush. All of the mini Deborah Lipman brushes are virtually useless and for the full size products, they're not great. When drugstore brushes for nail polish beat the high end, the high end really has to step up and at least meet drugstore uh, type quality. So anyway, I haven't used this one or the burgundy color. As I said, I have used the deep green and I wish I had done three coats. So far, I would say it's not a great experience to me uh, to use this uh, type of uh, nail polish. I am hoping that I have a different experience with the burgundy or um, and the purple. But um, yeah, packaging, external packaging, I think they did a great job. I think it's very much in line with the Marc Jacobs uh, line. Uh, but the execution as far as the usability of the product, I'm still very much on the fence. Once I've tried all three, I will have an opinion, but I think it's a discontinued product anyway. So my opinion on this may be a moot point. Am I glad that I've tried the nail polish for this brand? Yes. Um, knowing what I know now, would I do it again? Probably not. Take it for what it's worth. Now we're into Tarte. And I have just a few items from Tarte in here. Uh, offer for 15% off that I never go for because 15% off is not enough of a discount for me, in my opinion. I got a few samples. One that I was really looking forward to trying was this Cake Butter Whipped Body Butter. So really looking forward to trying this. And I also wanted to try their long wear and waterproof. Uh, their, uh, this is the eyebrow product and they have four different shades for me to try along with a tool. And I have been trying a lot of different brow products lately. For example, this one right now is the Cabral from uh, Benefit. And I would like to try this one right after actually. That'll be the next one on my list. And I got a birthday perk from Tarte. And uh, this, is, this says because you're in our pretty posse, happy birthday and there's some paper inside and let's see what's inside i can't remember what it was so i'm unwrapping oh yeah it's all coming back to me so there is a mascara which apparently is quite well known it's uh, lights camera lashes and it twists open and here is the wand so very interested to try that. And then a nice blush in Quirky, which I do not have from Tarte. Oh, and it is, uh, it's kind of a peachy color, which would go really well with the look I have on today. That's kind of neat. Cool. Maybe I should put it on right now. Let's do that. I'll put it on right now. Okay, let me try this brush. This is the Glam Light uh, powder brush, I guess. Could be a blush brush. So I'm going to go right into this Quirky from Tarte. And let's see what it looks like. I think there's a bit of an overspray on it. Okay, that's pretty. There we go. Why not? Let's try it right on camera. So really happy about that as, um, as a little extra. So a mascara and blush, two essential items for a finished look. So I'm 
putting this right away in my uh, blush tray, which is just, I'm very happy about that. It's awesome. Okay, now we have the bigger items and there are two of them. These for me are palettes that I thought got away from me and that I was, I guess you could say semi mourning. <laughs> and one of them is completely frivolous and the other one is more a palette that I think I can use quite a bit. So let's go with the first one here. And this one, I have to say, I'm just a sucker for the packaging. And it's because of the Make Believe in Yourself palette that I have from Tarte. It's in my favorite palettes. I have a video coming on my favorite palettes, so uh, watch out for that. And this one is, it's not the same design as the Make Believe in Yourself, but it's, it's somewhat similar. And I just, I really enjoy how compact this palette is. I think it's seven, eight, eight different eyeshadows. And they're just, this is a grab and go palette. It's a palette that I feel like I could just have in my purse at any given time. It looks like a compact, what is it called? Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2. It just feels like it's, it's an eyeshadow palette that I can have in my purse at all times. It looks like a compact, it doesn't look like overkill of having a bunch of, of makeup in your purse. It just, it just feels perfect to me. And I don't know, it was just, it was a super, super great deal. I think it was over, it was 60% off. It was a ridiculous deal. Anyway, it's a palette that I feel like it was one of those palettes that got away from me and the opportunity to get it just made me very very happy so not only did I manage to finally get it but I got it for a great price that chart had a fantastic sale on odds and ends and um, yeah really happy to have this in my collection and it's the same thing with this one but this one I would say is more frivolous <laughs> and it is called the be a mermaid and make waves palette and again, I got it on Super Deal during their amazing sale that they had. And it's it's overkill on packaging, but it kind of needs it because it's it's a thick palette. And this one, I'll say right off the hop, it's for display purposes as well as usage. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And let me just get this open. And it has a variety of colors, which I do appreciate. So here's what it looks like. So it has a decent array of colors for being not that many. There are 14 shadows in there, eight in the middle and then three on top and bottom. Yeah, I, I really think it's a decent array of colors and the smell is wonderful. And it's, it's also, very much C related and if you don't know this about me yet I am an avid scuba diver and so anything that has to do with the C which both of them have a C uh, outer packaging the pa outer packaging that is related to the C and it just makes my heart sing so I'm I, I really I thought I missed the boat on this one and I did kick myself a few times because it's very rare that there's a palette that speaks to me, speaks to my mermaid self like this one. And the option or the ability to get it and, and to get it at a ridiculously cheap price, I, it really made my day. I mean, the, the day I ordered this palette and um, the other one, the... Uh, the Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 2. You could not wipe the smile off my face once I had placed the order and just committed to it. It was, it was a good moment. And having received it and shown it to you, that's also a very good moment. Okay, I have to fess up to this. I opened it again to look at it. <laughs> so it's obviously, uh, something that I had coveted for quite a while and uh, that I will enjoy for years. 
so I'm pretty happy. Okay, so we went through the birthday goodies for Tarte. I think you'll agree I did not go wild. Two palettes, they were somewhere between 60 and 75% off. Super happy with what I got. And now I have a few more palettes um, that are higher end brands that I have wanted um, as well. I am going to start with a brand that Steph introduced me to, and that brand is Ace Beauté. And I did pick up an Ace Beauté palette when they put all their palettes on for 75% off because they were reformulating them. So I picked up this, what is, what is it called? Vintage Dawn palette. If I can open it without tearing it. When in doubt, tweezers. So I'm going to open up this package without tearing it for now. Okay, and it's a, it's a very small palette. I think it's 12 shadows. Um, much smaller than my Flare palette, which is a palette that I got from uh, Steph from Ace Beauté. And it's, it's a gorgeous palette. Super happy to have it. And I think it's in my uh, group of um, 50 palettes that are my top palettes. Um, and so I couldn't resist getting this one shipped to me because I really enjoyed the Flare palette. And it has just more intensity of colors that are colors that I'm pretty fond of, which are yellows and kind of grungy greens. So I thought this was going to be a decent palette for me and a palette that I could uh, possibly bring with me uh, to travel. And if I take a look at the colors themselves, the ones that speak the most to me are Gleam, up here, Fade, and um, I think this is Cactus. Yeah, Cactus. So all the other colors uh, do remind me of the Safari palette from Colored Rain, but this red, this beautiful matte brown, and this beautiful matte olive green really called uh, to me. And of course, I'm going to end up using these other colors as well, just by use of the palette. Also, if you've never done this, a matte brown like this with a um, sky blue shimmer is a gorgeous combo, an absolutely gorgeous combo. So I'm glad that that is uh, available in this palette. So really, really happy about that. And this palette also reminds me a little bit of some of the color pairings that you can find in uh, Linda Halberg or Linda Hallberg's um, collections as well. So I think it's it's a beautiful palette. The curation is, was done really well and I cannot wait to uh, create some looks uh, with this lovely little gem. And 75% off, I was just gawking, <laughs> absolutely gawking at that price. And the next one I was gawking at was this one. And it came so crazy well packaged. This was in this box. Look at the, the size and it was so well, I'm going to put it down so I don't lose it, uh, so well protected. If you are concerned about getting an Natasha Denona palette, look at how much protection that palette had. I mean, it, it had a bumper on every single side that you could have a bumper on with this corrugated cardboard. I was really impressed and I was also impressed that it is environmentally friendly. It's all paper and either recyclable or um, that you can use in a fireplace. It's just, it's just really smart, safe packaging. I was so impressed, absolutely impressed. Now to look at this palette. The only reason I picked it up it, and went up it went on for half price at Sephora. And I've been very sheepish about trying more from Natasha Denona after the Coral palette, which I thought was, not Coral, Cranberry palette, which was a complete disaster for me. Um, really, I was really upset with it. Uh, the Aries palette from Christmas three years ago was okay, uh, but the Cranberry, Cranberry palette was a real letdown. So I was sheepish and now here I am ready to try Natasha Denona again, and I chose the Love palette. 
and purples and reds are very flattering for green eyes, which is what I have. And every one of these uh, can be removed and reorganized. You see all those little pinholes at the back. So to me, I thought, okay, well, I do appreciate that I have a mini palette. I do appreciate that I can reconfigure the shadows for Natasha Denona. And then I finally have one of her, call them larger palettes. This is a mini, I realize, but a larger palette, meaning 15 shades to work with as opposed to always keeping it to um, sets of five shadows. I thought I would give it a shot. Um, the only other one that has been of interest to me has been the Metropolis, but it's always been $170 Canadian is, is, is an atrocious price to me. And I just have never wanted to pull the trigger. This one was 40 some odd dollars Canadian. So I felt like I could stomach trying this one. And it has a fair number of mats. It has three, four, five, six, seven mats out of 15. So almost half are mats. So I, I'm happy with that. And I think that I can create some really nice looks uh, with with this palette and I do feel like it's a quite a sturdy design with a magnet I'm I'm pretty happy so I will definitely do a bunch of looks with this one and a bunch of looks with this one just a few more palettes and then we'll be done I decided to get a quad from Pat McGrath and let me see if I can open this without too much trouble I was impressed with her Celestial Divinity palette. Um, I have used it even just uh, just recently. I, it is a go-to for a topper for uh, inner to center lid. Uh, if I have a doubt, um, I'll go for one of those. Megabyte in the Celestial Divinity is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And um, I am debating on whether or not I'm, I'm going to get her um, holiday palette for this year because I really enjoyed Celestial Divinity last year. Okay, so I did decide to get this quad. It's a quad that spoke to me quite a few times. And let's have the, the joy of taking the plastic off. That is so satisfying. All right. Whoops. <laughs> so satisfying, I banged the camera. All right, so here is what it looks like. And it was a very, very good price. And I decided to, to get it because it was the only quad in this series that, that really had my attention. Uh, and I think just because it's such a light, some warm, but mostly it makes me think of cool tones. And I've, I've been exploring cool tones quite a bit more. Now, what is it called? Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad. Um, Fleur Fantasia. So Fleur means flower. Fleur Fantasia. And I would agree with that. It's definitely a flower feel in the, the colors chosen. And I'm going to say, but wait, there's more. And this is the ultimate of what I did pick up for my birthday this year, and it is this palette from Pat uh, McGrath. And if you hear people playing basketball outside, my apologies, I don't have control over that. Uh, it is, what is it called? Okay, here we go. I'm going to just tip it over. I do really love the, the packaging with this kind of a design. The one that has kind of a I'm going to call it like a cyberpunk feel. The latest one is also gorgeous and I really like the shades in it. Uh, but I don't, I, I don't want to buy a palette from Pat McGrath without having at least 25% off because they're, they're a ridiculous price. Uh, but uh, this one did come on for at least 25% off and I did decide to get it. And again, 10 shades is what it usually contains. And some similar 
colors that were drawing me into uh, this palette. That nice matte brown, an olivey green, although this one is a shimmer. Purple, that always makes green eyes pop. And some very nice, rich, traditional colors to complement. So I'm really looking forward to playing with this palette. Over half of it is very much what I would consider work appropriate and the other half is more on the glam side. But I really do feel like this palette can be quite uh, versatile for me and could be a uh, one single grab and go palette if I want to. And of course it has the beautiful beveled edging mirror and let me just do this because it's fun to do and so out of everything if I'm pointing to one palette that was the palette for this year it is definitely this one as far as uh, a birthday situation so that one the love palette and the seashell from Tarte were really the three that that really gave me palettes that that have been on my mind for a long time. This this palette I have been coveting for well frankly since it came out. So that one plus the Mothership 5, those are my two top Pat McGrath palettes as far as their full size deluxe type palettes. Um, and I cannot wait to play with this one. Uh, let me know if you want me to play on camera with any of the palettes you've seen today in my five months worth of product reveal. Yeah, let me know what it is that you'd want me to work with, or I should say play with first, and I'll uh, try to prioritize that in my upcoming videos. I'm going to be playing with a lot of stuff in upcoming videos. So don't be shy, let me know what it is that you care about the most, and I will start with those products. So that's it. That is, as I said, five months worth of stuff that I had to show you. I have been really behind the scenes uh, the last number of months. I have not posted a lot. Uh, I did do a channel chat just recently. If you want to know what's been going on, I would suggest that. It's a channel chat and a second look using the Urban Decay Cyber palette. Um, you may get some insight there. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me uh, for what is a relatively long video, but you know, unboxing videos are fun. They are always entertaining. I find them entertaining anyway. Let me know what you think of what I got and, um, yeah, and any feedback that you may have regarding the products or the video itself. I'm always open to suggestions, comments, and uh, whatever is on your mind. With that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.